What's up guys, it's Cameraman Pokemon, and today I'm going back to a series that I started with Rebel Clash. Can we make a profit? And can we make a profit? I open up this box and look at the value of all the single cards that we get out of it and check if it actually beats the price I paid for this box. So the price I paid for this box was roughly around $100 and I'm gonna use the US currency as I'm gonna take Troll and Toad for the prices uh, of the single cards. And um, yeah, we're gonna find out what the profit is or if we even can make a profit from this booster box. As you guys know, pulling the Charizard will directly make us even with the box, because I think it's hovering around $100 right now. It might have dropped a little bit, but pulling a Charizard will put us in a very luxury position. And um, next to me, I've highlighted some of the expensive cards and throughout the video, I will highlight the prices on screen. And as we go on, kind of add the value that we're getting from the box. And um, yeah, we're splitting it into two parts. So it's a little bit easier because it's gonna take a little bit more time as we look at the value of the cards but uh, a lot of fun and a cool experiment to see if you can make a profit of a Darkness Ablaze booster box. So let's get into the box and see if we can make a profit from a Darkness Ablaze booster box. Let's go. All right guys, so today we're opening up the left side of the box first, looking at how much value can we get out of it? This Wednesday, I'm gonna open up the right side and we're gonna conclude if we could make a profit from this whole box. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm the cameraman. I do very chill Pokemon card openings, mail days, collecting vintage cards. And it's all about appreciating the Pokemon cards and having fun while we do so. And for today, we're gonna look if you can make a profit from Darkness Ablaze. I've marked down some of the cards that are valuable. I might miss some, but on screen, I should highlight everything. We're also taking into account the code cards, but I'm still giving them away uh, in this video. So despite I'm not using them, I'm gonna count them as value in this box because they are valuable if you would sell them. So we're starting off with Lightning Energy. Then we have a Combuscan, a Pupitar, a Corvus Squire, a Galarian Mr. Mime, Grimer, we have Clink, Skitty, Handsage. The first is a reverse uncommon duck trio. I don't think that's anything. A reverse rare or a reverse supporter is actually worth something, but this one I don't think is valued all that much. Let's see what the first rare is. A Talonflame. So most rares are around 50 cents. So um, unless it is a good rare that is very playable, uh, but most of them go for 50 cents and that is the price I will use for all of them unless it is a playable card and then I will highlight it on screen and you will see what the value is for that. So there's some supporter cards, Fighting Energy, that um, Kabu, I'm not sure about that one. I don't think that's valuable. The Turbo Patch, that is something, I think in a regular form, it goes for 129 or something. So uh, $1.29, so we're putting that in the back. That's definitely valuable. We have Jigglypuff, Dunspars, Clink, Marini, Torchic, a powerful energy. Energies like this in reverse rare are also around $1. So that's another good hit. And then we get a right Rhyperior V. So this box has brought a lot of goodies from it. This Rhyperior, I don't think it's super valuable. It's getting a sleeve, but I think it goes for around $3 or $3.49. I will highlight the price on screen, but that is a good box. Two good supporters and uh, a V card, I cannot complain about that. So second pack magic already coming through. Let's see if we can continue this up. And again, guys, it's just a fun way to look at the booster box. Most of the cards are valuable, valuable because of the playability. So over time, when this set rotates out of the, out of the, the, the standard format for TCG, uh, Struggle Club, it might be something, maybe 50 cents, uh, Pampor, Spinarag, uh, Bounce Sweet, Dunsparce, we got Electric, and Excel Go Reverse Rare. That is definitely worth something. Not a lot, but I think definitely something. And for the rare, it's just a Swana. So that's not uh, super special, but the Excel Go goes in the back. But yeah, as I was saying, 
um, as long as it uh, the cards can be played in standard, I think they have more value because people just want to have cool cards for their decks and, and they want to use it. So if you have a rainbow card from a Turtidus, for example, uh, the VMAX version is more valued because yeah, people want to play with the coolest card, of course, plus the rarity that comes in. Hiding energy, that might be something, I'm not sure, but maybe that's 50 cents. Fletchinder, we got Gotharita, Larvesta, Hippopotas, Golut, Skitty, Dino. We got Volcarona, which is a reverse rare, so that is a good one. It's done! Okay, now this is gonna be a fun, fun can we make a profit. Holy cow, guys. Uh, oh, I can't even speak. Holy cow. Another Charizard VMAX. And another one that looks perfect. So, as of recording, I'm going to do editing later. So, I'm not sure what, what this is worth. But I think it goes around 100 to 120 right now. So, if it's $120, we made a profit already. And this box is just going to keep on giving. So, oh my goodness. That is... Amazing, we got another Charizard VMAX and in the perfect video, in the perfect video, I opened up my booster box a couple of weeks ago, my first one, uh, I still have one as you see next to the other one uh, and, and I, I said like, hey, this Charizard VMAX should have come in my can, can we make a profit video and it did, we got another one. So, wow guys, this is going to be a very, very fun series now, watch out for the second video because how much value can we get from this box? Like how much? It, 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 it's going to be insane. Rare Fossil, I don't think there's anything. Putting it to the side. Simipore, we got Starly, Aeron, Rowlet, Jigglypuff, Diglett, Kufant Reverse. I don't think that does anything for us. And an Ampharos regular rare. So let me put a little bit of my bulk aside to make it easier to um, track everything because I want to organize a little bit so after I'm done filming I can quickly go online and check the value that we get uh, from all these cards so here we go I might even add um, in my my ending of this video I might even just edit later after I edited the video so I talk to you guys about how much value we actually got Galarian Darumaka, Centred, Rowlet, we got Scovet, Spinarag, a Diglett Reverse that doesn't do anything, and for the rare, an Excel Gore, and I think that is just a 50 cent card or even less. But oh my goodness, man, Charizard has been liking me in Darkness Ablaze. That is just amazing. Here's the code card, and yeah, that does wonders for my Can We Make a Profit because wow, wow, wow. Darkness Energy, Heat Energy, that might be something. Simisir, Ductrio, Snubble, Tauros, Rookie D, Galarian Mr. Mime, Purloin, a Golurk Reverse Rare, so that is good. And for the rare, we got a Hippowdon. So the Golurk goes in the back, but the Hippowdon doesn't do a lot. Another Charizard. Would it be able to pull two Charizard V Max from a box? How crazy would that be? How crazy would that be? I'm curious. I see a lot of people pulling the Charizard nowadays. It is probably going to drop in value over time because yeah it's like the Charizard is great of course but it is not here struggle gloves that might be something Gothita, uh, Nicket, Shelmet, Larvitar, Grimer, Thievul reverse rare so we're doing great on the reverse rares and that is awesome for can we make a profit and for the rare we get a Butterfree fee definitely not a valuable fee but I think it adds to the value of this box, so that gets to sleep as well. I am putting it over the table because I want to have my Charizard shine in the background. Let's go, Eternatus. You are also a very valuable card, so if we get you in a VMAX form or even in a, uh, in a rainbow form, oh my goodness, then this box would make us a lot of value and a lot of profit at the same time. Steeny, old PC might be around 50 cents. Ursaring, Starly, Skarmory, a Simeon, Panseer, Mareep, Paris Reverse doesn't do anything for us. And for the rare, we got a Kalisapoth Hollow. And I think 
I think this is one of the more valuable hollows, uh, but I might be wrong, but I highlighted on screen. In any case, I do enjoy this hollow a lot, as I think Galizapop is a very, very cool Pokemon. Let's organize the bulk a little bit so it's easier for me to move cards around and um, get everything in order for my editing session after this. Grimmsnarl. Wow, I am blown away that we got another Charizard. That is, <sighs> that is amazing. My luck for Darkness Ablaze has been pretty good, but I think the pull rate for Darkness Ablaze has also been something rare fossil. Can't remember what it is, but I think it was nothing, but we're just putting it to the side. Dino, a Simeon, Bunnelby, Vanillite, Cupitar Reverse, don't think that's anything. And for the rare, we got a Delcaddy, and that is also not doing anything for us. So I think we're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight packs left. So we're over half more, halfway mark. It would be amazing if we get one more C card or one more amazing, not amazing rare. Why well, I want to say amazing rare. I hope we get that in Champion's Path, but um, no, one more uh, ultra rare that is a VMAX or a rainbow card. Toughness Cape might be something. Power Energy might be something. So that's good. Uh, Soul Rock, Jigglypuff. Oh, my stack maintenance is going all the way across. Clink, Marini, Torchic. Carnivine, Uncommon, so it doesn't do a lot. And a Galarian Domanitan, so that also doesn't do a lot. I am really messing up my stack maintenance. I don't have enough space. So I'm just gonna leave it. And after I'm done editing this video or filming this video, we're gonna clean it up as I butcher this pack. Murip on the front. Come on, let's give us one more fire pull to make sure that we hit an amazing amount of profit. Heat Energy might be something. Simisair, Duck Trio, Mareep, Snubble, Tauros, Rookie D, Galarian Mr. Mime, a Dunsparce, just a common, and for the rare, an Artofish. So we're definitely slowing down. It seems like the Charizard is just soaking up all the luck out of this video. But what can we get? Come on, get, let us get us something. I wanna, I wanna kill it with this box. I wanna make so much profit that, you know, it, it, it's just so good to get in the box. Yellhorn might be something. Flaffy, Carnivine, Larvesta, Hippodus, Hippodus, Go, uh, Golet. I am stopping, I'm, I'm, yo, Blaziken. Reverse rare, so that is great. And for the rare, the Galarian Surface. But the Blaziken is good, because that is definitely something. All right, what can we get? We have five packs left. Let's make sure that we pull something so that we, at the end of the vi this video, we're already like across what we need to make for this, um, for the profit so that we, or that we, that we make a hundred dollars in this video, that would be great. Water Energy, Steeny, OPC, that's good. Ursaring, Morlow, Wishy Washy, Kuvant, Dino, Pansier, a bounce sweet. Nope, that's nothing. And for the rare. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Another beautiful Milotic Hollow. Definitely very high on my wish list. Not doing anything for profit, but it's a bright heel Pokemon for me. Wow. As you guys know, if you follow this channel, Milotic is definitely one of my favorites. Ooh, a little bit white. No, that might be just. Eh, that's not perfect. So. I'm, if I'm gonna send this to PSA, I'm not gonna send this one because I want to make sure that if I spend the money to send it to PSA, that it's a uh, guaranteed 10. But um, happy about that. The hollows in this set are crazy good. So let's keep it up. Oh, white cold card. I spoiled it. I never like spoiling the cold cards, but this was a white one. So that means a hollow or better. And that's a good sign if we want to make a profit. Let's go. We got Darkness Energy, Bird Keeper, Steeny. Furret, Galarian Daramaka, we got Centret, Rowlet, Scovet, Spinarak, Larvitar, and for the rare, oh, Stun Visk Fee. So I haven't seen this all that much. Uh, and that's a good thing, because i not one of my favorites, but you know, it is uh, probably a couple of dollars, so that adds to it. Stun Visk Fee. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say about this. Like, it probably is somebody's favorite Pokemon, but. Galarian Stunfisk? I don't know about that. That is definitely not something that I am um, 
excited about. They could have given Arcanine a Heracross, right? And Certified Fire, they given they could have given those guys a, a V-card, but they went with Stunfisk. Because, you know, everybody always raves about Stunfisk, especially the the Galarian form with the little Pokeball as a, as a mouth. But uh, yeah, can't win them all. Glimbu Tangle, powerful energy, could be something. Soul Rock, Golet, Vanillite, Trapinch, Teddy Ursa, Pansir. We got Nickit, shout out to Agile Fox, but he uses Vulpix now. And for the rest, another Galarian Dematan. So two packs left. We have Grimmsnarl. I'm gonna keep the Eternatus as the last pack. And then we finish or start with the Grimmsnarl. Difficult packs open. Let's see what we can get. Grimmsnarl, can you bring us some luck? Come on, I would love to have another full art or VMAX, just something to shine in those last moments of this video. Ursaring, the cool Pulte guys, Combuskin, Galarian Mr. Rhyme, Grimer, Clink, we got Skitty, Pansage, Toughness Cape, so I think that's a good one. That's definitely maybe $1 or something, and... Good start. Whoa, this card is insane. Holy cow, look at the glare on that one. So, yep. Oh, this looks good. Oh my goodness, I am so happy. So this is, this is gonna be a good box. This is gonna be a good box. I'm not sure about the value. I don't think the Butterfree Rainbow VMAX is all that valuable. But it is a stunner and it, it's definitely going to add to it. I think it's definitely like $15 or something. And uh, yeah, that helps a lot. So last pack, can we get something more? Can we make this the most crazy box on YouTube and uh, have the highest amount of profit from it? Let's see. We get a Leaf Energy, Agron, Simipore, Spikemuth, Gothita, Nicket, Shelmet, Larvitar, Grimer, a Toxapex, no, it's just uncommon. For the rare, we get a Wigglytuff, so that doesn't do a lot. So guys, I'm gonna go switch over to my edit game mode and you will see me have a recap of all these cards. But um, yeah, it's probably gonna be a couple of days later because the editing is, is yeah, it takes a little while and searching up all the values, but uh, enjoy. And I'm gonna continue with the second part of this box and I'll see you Wednesday to see how much profit can we make from this video because yeah, with these cards, I can't go wrong. All right, all right, guys, we're back. Uh, it's a couple of days later, I did the editing, I looked at the prices, and you guys have seen everything on screen. Like, it was a surprise for me in editing, but um, yeah, we got the Kalissa Pod. Oh, we got the beautiful Milotic. We got Stunfisk, we got Rhyperior, Butterfree, and the beautiful, beautiful Butterfree Rainbow Rare. And of course, after four packs, we already made a profit. I think it was around $109 in value after this pack. So we made a $9 profit after four packs. In total, it came down to $143.70 in value, which means it was a $43 profit. So we're already there and we still have, or you still have to look at the second box which will be coming this Wednesday. And we're gonna find out how much profit we can make from this amazing Darkness Ablaze booster box. So, so stay tuned for Wednesday where you can see the rest of the box. It is insane. You want to watch that. So uh, yeah, guys, for now, hit that like button. Let me know what you think of the value of a Darkness Ablaze booster box. But for me, it was insane. I'll see you next time. Cameraman, Pokemon, I'm out.